All right, Abu Um, I have some few issues, uh, some two issues, which I want us to touch on. Um, Nia Edi Kano has got to do with Nia Ekoso, our parliament between the majority NDC and the minority um, NPP, um, with the involvement of the court, uh, you know, um, putting a stay of execution on the ruling of the Speaker of Parliament and uh, the suspension of Parliament and the recall of Parliament by the same minority NPP who boycotted Parliament um, last time there was a sitting. And uh, the second one, no, uh, yeah, uh, John Dramani Mahama and Sembia or the Atubra, which I want us to listen and uh, break it down. It's very important. In TDK, in fact, near Ecoso Parliament, you know, as you can see on your screen, as reported by uh, Joy 99.7 FM, or see NPP, um, NPP accuses, sorry, Kamiya Kakokos, NPP accuses NDC of deliberately attempting to disrupt government business, alleging it has uncovered a secret document from the opposition outlining plans to capture power by any means necessary. Of course, this was expected. Why? Because since 2017, ever these people have never ever accepted any responsibility whatsoever. BBS, and your Mwa, NDC. They play the fool and blame the NDC for it. Also, uh, uh, very simple. Ah, uh, uh, oh, the answer, oh, the Jimmy. Yeah, the answer, oh, yeah, yeah. Say, do you know how simple? Just go out there and blame the NDC. Now, you say, say, Ghana for being upset, be you, say, be you, say, be you. Oh, my dream of for Munti, no, don't listen to you. It has been very easy for them since 2017. Just play the fool. NDC grant to move for a minute. Mon country NDC penny for the two million and seven war. Nia ye pen ye beye. Omu ye nia nia omu sope. Nase bibia pasca. Then they come out and blame the NDC for it. So it has been a very smooth sail. Ye nimi. Ye en sham kwasi amra. Ye enfa en kwasi a taxi simra. Ye nye nye pe bia. NDC tu ye fu a yen ti. Bibia se ya na ya sa kwa bonte. A blame the NDC for it. Omu se. Almost like a secret document, DB. Ah, a NDC has outlined a plans to capture power by any means necessary. Any a year Of course, they have to have a plan. Sebi you party beer, muni munyan sebiya. If you really want to capture power, you must have a plan. It is an emo check gunner for say. Eh, mom who say NDC or plan there. Then I'm so happy for the NDC. And no, no, it boosted the voter confidence in NDC. And what you're going to do with the NDC, she said. So you're talking about Emma NDC. NDC will be able to protect the vote. And what you're going to do with the NDC is ever ready to fight to redeem us Ghanaians from the hands of this Achim Mafia gang and to save our country from the hands of this NPP uh, government. It is an NDC or plan there. I'm so happy. Why do you want them to sit aloof? So that you can easily break the eight? No. As a party, you know, as a reasonable party, they've got, they've got to have a plan. And the plan of the NDC is to use every legal means, is to use every constitutional means, to rescue Guyanians from the hands of this Achim Mafia gang. It is about part to say, NDC or plan there. I'm so happy, uh, you know, to have devoted my time uh, to promote the NDC. I'm so happy personally to have devoted my time to sell the good message of the NDC. It means the NDC will never ever uh, uh, disappoint us. Why? Because they already know what they are doing. And they have a plan on how they want to capture power from the hands of you, this Achim Mafia, NPP gang, uh, you know, the cabal, the cartel, these criminals. So I'm so happy uh, to have been part of the NDC. Why? Because they have a plan. And what is your own plan? Your own plan is to boycott the ruling of the Speaker of Parliament. Later, go to court, bring a court order for the Speaker of Parliament to send back the court order for you to have boycotted parliament forcing the speaker of parliament to suspend parliament and later you the same people you are calling for the uh, year resumption of parliament this is your plan also but plan when you say any what's a more plan or say you say you a failure money mugu asi and this plan they say let us use every constitutional means legal means to oust you people out of power and your own plan is to boycott parliament and later call for the resumption of parliament what's a more jimmy Last sitting, the NDC were there. You were the same people who boycotted parliament. And you are the same people who are calling 
for the Speaker of Parliament to resume Parliament so that you can see to your so-called government business. Go on, say, Jimmy. Go on, say, Moni Munyansa. Go on, say, what dream, sir? Devi, I'm a catch them, say, NPP, no, what dream? What dream, sir? What dream, sir? What dream, sir? Moni Munyansa. Mon Kotna, say, Mon Pa, NDC, Penny, for a chow. Na NDC, Penny, for entry, Munyansa. Na Moni Munyansa, what Jimmy? What dream, sir? What you can see, for what you can have. And I've been marking for on one selfish interest in tea. Only did the party into the ditch. And I owe Jimmy Mo. And I'm also Kasia for Mudin Echi John 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 John. And I'm Fenno Marking. And I let's go to the court. And I court order. And I stay of execution. And I let's boycott parliament. And Mua, today you are the same people after parliamentary uh, year suspension. You are the same people who are calling for the resumption of parliament because you feel to think. Mo Jimmy, 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 Eh, omwa tro eye memu, akwa koma the Speaker of Parliament. Eh, ye kase parliamentary memu wa, it's just like a letter. As a ye tro letter, akoma the Speaker of Parliament, um, demanding or requesting him to do one thing or the other. As you can see, eh, maybe for you, dear, you know go feel read them. Eh, but me, for my here, I did read them clear. I did read them clear. Yeah. This is the memu wa, the minority caucus. Eh, yeah, the NPP have written to the Speaker of Parliament, uh, demanding him to resume parliament so that they can, uh, you know, as they are saying, attend to their so-called uh, government business. And I read, or say, memo uh, to right honorable speaker <laughs> from the second deputy majority chief whip. They are still calling themselves majority. The funny thing is, uh, they are still calling themselves majority. That's the funny thing. Also, uh, they have no regard for parliamentary ruling. They have no regard for the standing orders of parliament. They have no respect for the Speaker of Parliament. So, Empo, after the uh, uh, ruling of the Speaker of Parliament, you know, they are so calling themselves majority in parliament. Or say, date, 22nd October 2024. Subject, notice of meeting by request under Article 112, um, Clause 13, uh, sorry, Clause 3, and order... 53 of the standing orders. Today they believe in standing orders. Today they are still quoting articles. Uh, the same articles in our speaker, a genus. And they declare four seat vacant. And now sweetie and this by a majority now. Or much say, or montia see a one dim rica a codine court on today. A son say, or mu here say parliament better nasi. Said the bayer, uh, won't be to me a passy or mu chrono taxes in inquasia semi adintino. They have gone back to the same constitution and they are quoting articles, quoting the standing orders of parliament. She, Mameka se mi chemo, ye ka nyachu mwa, nyachu mwa, ye NPP. Ye ka omwa emu adie. Ye ka omwa emu gana mra. Ye ka omwa emu the standing orders of parliament. Me se, ye NPP. They are very selfish. They are very greedy. If they, if they are looking for what they want to, they, are, they know how to quote Articles and quote the standing orders of parliament. Now, so a basset are caught in their favor, they are, then they go to court and try to overturn the ruling of the Speaker of Parliament. These people are dangerous and they are diabolic. Yet, to also, I say, right honorable speaker, respectfully, <laughs> on behalf of myself and the re uh, requisite number of members of parliament from the majority caucus, like I'm saying, they are still. Referring to themselves as the majority. Oba bodam. Omu mu ganam ra. Omu mu the ruling of parliament. Parliament ina. Omu pe se. Omu se shia. Etna se se nebe ya. Omu be timi esi to their so called government business. They have no regard. They have no respect for the same parliament. And this is the NPP I'm talking about. Or say from the majority caucus. I have the honor to address you on a matter of utmost national importance in accordance with Article 112, uh, you know, into bracket 3 of the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana, 1992, and Standing Order 53 of the Parliament of Ghana. We hereby formally request a meeting of Parliament. The signatories of members making this request are here to attached. Legal basis for the request. To ensure clarity and emphasize the legal foundation of this request, we 
respectfully draw your attention to the following provisions presented in order of constitutional and uh, procedural hierarchy. Number one, Article 112, uh, you know, into bracket three of the 1992 Constitution, which states, notwithstanding any other provision of this article, 15% of members of parliament may request a meeting of parliament and the speaker shall, within seven days after the receipt of the request, summon parliament. Number two, standing order 53 into bracket one, uh, retreat. Despite any other provision, 15% of the members of parliament may request a meeting of parliament and the speaker shall, within seven days after the, uh, the receipt of the request, summon parliament. Number three, standing order 53 into bracket, uh, you know, that's clause two. Further stipulates, parliament shall convene within seven days after the issuance, after the issuance of the notice of summons. Number four, Standing Order 57 Clause 3 provides the Speaker may summon a single, uh, sorry, a sitting of the House before the date or time to which the House has been adjourned or at any date or time after the House has been adjourned, uh, uh, or say, uh, sin, die, or something. Hey, dear bro, no, no, okay. Uh, all right. Number five, or say, um, Standing Order 58. Um, into bracket four, states, the speaker shall summon parliament within a period determined by the speaker and the requirement for a 14-day notice shall not apply where there is an emergency. Now, uh, okay, urgent matters for consideration. We respectfully request that upon recall of the house, the following urgent government business and deliberated uh, the following government business be deliberated, sorry, be deliberated upon and transacted, including any other business that comes before the house. Number one, request for tax exemptions for designated beneficiaries under the one district, one factory program. These are the reasons why, now I'm not reading the reasons why they want parliament to come back or the resumption of parliament. They want tax exemptions for their own companies. They are looking for tax exemptions for their own Achim Mafia so-called companies. So say, request for tax exemptions for designated beneficiaries under the One District, One Factory Program. Who are the One District, One Factory Program beneficiaries? Who are they? In the first place, you know, Yemisa Abai will say, who are the so-called beneficiaries of their so-called self, you know, uh, self-promoted, self-acclaimed one district, one factory program. Who are they? Because Ghana for you who factory be at. You who any factory under the one D1F. So who are those beneficiaries? Are you the same? Are you a chamber of your gang? Why? Because they, they know for sure that they are living power. So they want to do anything possible to make more money before they leave power. Because when we say, the way I almost see outside Ghana, no? should they lose power today? Coming back to power will be very difficult for them. And they are going to stay in opposition for so long until now. They want to do everything they can to secure more bag, to secure more money before they leave office. And they are forcing, they want to use parliament to fulfill their diabolic means. Say, a tax exemption for a beneficiaries of 1D1F. Who are the beneficiaries and who are the 1D1F themselves? Who are those 1D1F and who are the so-called beneficiaries? Aye, a Bomti, Asante Bedia Tu, Oforiata, Jankrome Kufuado, Ekufuado himself, the same Achim Mafia for Na, Oju upon Kroma. These are the same people who are the beneficiaries. Uh, you know, if you are to ask me, these are the same people who are the beneficiaries of the so called 1D1F, which they are fighting so hard to bring parliament to come and deliberate on nonsense. Number two, I'll say Ghana, uh, Ghana Financial Stability Fund, an international development association facility of 200 and 50 million United States dollars, uh, Ghana Financial Stability Fund and International Development. Just say they want to chop money over 250 million in simple terms. We may be there about the bush. Maintenance here, no, no. They want to squander money over 250 million dollars. This is the reason why they are forcing parliament to resume after parliament was suspended because of their own doings. 
Me se, sa ban we no ho. Ye ka se omo san to aso, ye ma omo for omo ye sa, on be se Ghana abo mai no, ni ami ka wudi. Because of their selfish interest. Because they want to spend 250 million dollars like they spend 58 million dollars on a pit. Ah, e be sine Ghana for ye hu ade potia, sa pit no, e di abre Ghana for. En fa so dia e di abre Ghana for. They spent over forty-eight million dollars on Odor River. Ebesine, Yehun Fasudie be a Ghana for nya. Today, they want to use Parliament to spend over two hundred and fifty million dollars. It's the reason why they are forcing Parliament to come back. We say NPP, no. It's not about Ghana. It's not. It has never been about Ghana. Right from their inception, in the days of old, you two Kwame Nkrumah by go here. It has never been about Ghana. It has been about their selfish tribal interest. Iti abribiano, omu wa abemua, they take Ghana back to over 20, 30 years behind. And this iba, they try as they try so much or they, they try so much to put Ghana back on track or to make Ghana move forward. Now so NPP ba, they try everything possible to take the to take the nation back. This is their behavior, and this is how they have been behaving. They want to come and squander over 250 million US dollars. Yemi so mu says says can for for the where for what? Or say Ghana Financial Stability Fund. This fund no was created by John Ramani Mahama. All the other funds that you know, maybe say from the stabilization fund to sinking fund, every fund be a Munimbiano was created by John Ramani Mahama. They want to come and squander all the money. And mua. You see why I am telling you, say we cannot simply allow these people to break the eight. Now you understand me. Afisa Moti Masie, the reason why I declare my support for John Dramani Mahama and the NDC, Afisa Moti Masie, say, we cannot simply allow these people to break the eight. That to be a disastrous for nation building or for the progress of this nation. It may me say, we must vote against these people at all costs. Point number three, or say bills, um, I, number one, Environmental Protection Agency Bill 2024. And number two, Social Protection Bill 2023. Number three, uh, Customs Amendment Bill 2024. Uh, you know, Budget uh, Bill 2023. Ghana Boundary Commission Bill. And uh, Interstate Succession Bill. And what, whichever bill. Me catch them say. So government business na na won e won e kan huwa no. And yet in the interest of Ghanaian so. And yet in more, more interest too. It is in the interest of their evil means. It is in the interest of their party. It is in their interest of their theft. Why? Because they know for sure, say, Ghanaians are voting against them come December 2024. And they want to bag as much money as they can. Say, so they if they go behind the scenes, sir, they will not suffer. This, ha this, is their, this is their mind. And this is what they want to do. It's more Ghana for no more shiny money. Waiting a year for parliament get get no. Waiting ena ye ni abre. Why? Because bini muse. Eku fuado na afre o muse debi. On se enche biya ye tuaba. Me eku fuado. Bini muse ye uweni. Iti muse an fre parliament back. Na yem passe pate sa abe le ne sa si kase uweni na yem passe. Na ye timi embagi more money before we leave power. This has been the intention of the NPP. They want to destroy the nation before they go completely. Se debe ya se mahama ba. They will, they will begin to blame everything on John Dramani Mahama. That is why I'm telling you people, say, me more than say, Mahama ebaye and not Masha Siabidi Mahama. Because I know, say, they will cause more damage and try to blame every damage on Mahama. This is what they have been doing. Do so, Mahama, betoye. And put Mahama na eyusu na jende sovi do so. Mahama e sovi do so ye ya, and kofi ba ye ya, ya seni. Ye blame Mahama for it. So, this has been their behavior. Udi Munyansa, or say, Oti Asiese, NPP, no, do try everything possible to destroy the nation, said the Bayer, Mahama Ba, Obe Bre, na Ghana for Ablimi, Eye, John Dramani Mahama, and the NDC for everything that is happening. This is what they want to do. It may not, eh, Madri Juma, me are so smart, I may fall for that trap. I, I, I won't fall for it. Say, yes, say, Mahama Eba, Yana, Echine, Yana, me didn't attempt, there be the Massa, Madri Juma, because I know these people. Part we no minimum more. Say, deliberately, no. On person you say Ghana, say nebe ya Muhammad Bay because he ain't Yanka. Yanka and she must say Muhammad Kraba. Oh, you who? Yanka and she must say Muhammad Bong. Yanka and she must say Muhammad cannot govern. Yanka and she must say Oh, chairman. Eh, you and our social media. Eh, our kasadi boa Muhammad. On say ne Muhammad Bay. You Ghana for crampono. Yebre. On say yebre. This is what they want to achieve. 
They want to try every means possible to sabotage the incoming government of John Drabadi Mahama. Mahama Ba, Sanya Mekano. Ghanaians will blame everything on John Drabadi Mahama. We, we are here to watch. We are here to witness. We are here. We say, yeah, Numbi, at the social media, and Kwan, no cray. A bribiano, you best serve a Ghana for with no cray now. I was a Ghana for This is what they want to do. Or say, context and justification. As Mr. Speaker may recall, Parliament had adjourned since uh, die. Okay, uh, Sini die or sign die. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that word, sorry. Uh, is it sign die or Sini die? Okay, if you are, maybe you guys might know. Baby dear, me name dear. On Tuesday, 22nd October 2024, without any explanation to the circumstance leading to the adjournment, okay? The IMPO accusing the speaker say he adjourned parliament without any explanation as to why he adjourned parliament. Meanwhile, Adana, now speaker of parliament, he stated the reason why in Tia he was adjourning parliament. These people are stupid. There is no other word to describe the actions of the NPP than to call their actions stupid. They are stupid. These people are diabolic. Or say, uh, you know, October 2024, without any explanation to the circumstance leading to the adjournment, you may also recall that a conclave, you may also recall that at conclave, you confirmed the service of a Supreme Court order which was explicit. At the time, the above stated items has been advertised and are scheduled to be carried. We wish to emphasize that this Request is made in utmost good faith and in the national interest of what? Ahana Bribia, Omudi Biti Ghana for no. And yet in any national interest to be a Obua. Send the American. They want to come and chop $250 billion. They want to come and pass their useless bills and their nonsense. Uh, they also want to come and put tax exemptions on their own company. Send the They will be able to bag enough money to go into opposition. This is what they want to do. And yet, in the interest of any Ghanaian, listen, and yet, in the interest of any Ghanaian, it is in their own diabolic interest and their own diabolic means. Yen to also. Or say, um, at the time, the above stated items has been advertised and scheduled to be carried. We wish to emphasize that this request is made in utmost good faith and in the national interest to enable the government to discharge its constitutional and democratic obligations to the people of Ghana. The matters outlined herein are of pressing importance and require the urgent attention of Parliament. Request for action. Considering the constitutional and um, statutory uh, provisions cited above um, and in the exercise of our rights as members of Parliament, we respectfully urge you to summon Parliament for a meeting within a stipulated seven-day period. Now, we need letter a uh, minority NPP, no, Atro Eddie Akoma, the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Sumana Bagbin. You see their behavior. You see their nonsense. You see Omu uh, Ejimi Sem. They are telling you, say, we want to summon Parliament because of the national interest. Of what? They say NPP, no. They say, come and come. Don't vote for NPP again. And I say, hey, to be fair, no, in the next 30 years, no. And my young to me and share NPP, sir. They are dangerous, they are diabolic, and they are the two me They take the nation back. They are the two me They take the nation back. The nation back was. And this is the Ghana Kwan and Now, I'm going to the Ghana Kwan and These people are diabolic. I say you are the two me Now, John Dramani Muhammad is very set the nation for us. Because they are ACA. NPP no, a diabolic party, NPP no, they mean no war for Ghana. See a cosso, and the Ghana share of Monsa, on the cosso say Ghana. Bibi Abbe Ghana no enfa, and Puntuna ye pay and sanka. Ah, senior ye pass a Ghana con any mono, ye and sanka. Ye the anne say, ye and two abentian cosia fui, na ye and me, and she John Dramani Mahama sa. Na John Dramani Mahama ain't me. And may reset the nation for us. Then I may catch it. The Speaker of Parliament is saying, let him never resume a parliament at the request of the minority. 
they are the minority in pool. A crampon, a cow, a majority for or move to me pa a NDC. And you know, so I see no reason why they are the ones who are calling for parliament to come back. Or bra, they are they are the same people who walked out of parliament leading to this uh, suspension of parliament. Why? Because Omo Kasano, they cannot simply sit down to plan. NPP no wahu. Se yentna se en plan. Yentna se e yusu ya dream en fan plan. Ina yen so si di no. Omo nyadi o. In the Arabia no, they plan to fail. They they even fail to plan. So if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's the logic. In the Emma yen fa tumi she san kasi afuinsa. Yema John Dramani Mahama Emra. Send the bear, John Dramani Mahama, obeyed me, I reset the nation Ghana for us. Uh, because of time, you know, because uh, so far, no many be 26 and something minutes, uh, which yeah, not shorter videos, me per se, a be wabi brisa. It you know, my main fa, the second video of John Dramani Mahama, no, and share the next program. Why? Uh, but many no, the next program, na um, and same potia Mahama, a day at Tugano, uh, young Ghana for you now, in Bubu Hona, young discuss it, now you who near air call and near air, but aha. And now, me debo ABC, me di at the chairman free mind. Enjoy the rest of your time, and I'll see you in my next video. Makram. Hello, Ghanaians. My name is John Dramani Mahama. December 7th is just 50 days away. In 50 days, we're going into battle, and it's a battle to rescue the soul of our nation. I thank you all for your hard work done so far, and I'm here to encourage you to work even harder in the last 50 days. I'm particularly indebted to the incredible number of you who have volunteered for the Mahama for Change campaign nationwide in your communities, your institutions, your workplaces, and online on social media. To you, my branch constituency, regional and national executives, and our hardworking members, you are the generals who are leading the charge in this battle. Your polling stations where you vote is your responsibility. Let's get out all the votes for the NDC from our electoral areas. And after voting, keep your eye on the process even more keenly until the last ballot is counted and victory is declared for us in the presidential elections for John Mahama and for your member of parliament. As your presidential candidate, I will ensure all your hard work results in victory. Within these 50 days, let's get to the finish line together. Remember, our strength lies in our unity. Let's march towards the victory together. Let's get out the votes to reset our economy and build the Ghana we all want together. <laughs> A vote for Mahama 